So Jess, in the last two videos we saw that we've got these two free content packs from Microsoft that help me get my data out of CRM or Dynamics 365 and into Power BI and they give me a report and a dashboard ready to go. What I'm wondering is, can I view those within CRM in the same way that I can embed Power BI reports within my role centre in NAV? Yes, you can. Um, so there's a couple of different options. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go and show you what those options are. So you can see we're here in the CRM environment and we are on um, dashboards page. So the first thing you need to do if you want to actually embed Power BI dashboards into CRM is you need to update your system settings. So if you just go to settings and you go to administration and there's this option here called system settings and you just need to go to the reporting page and make sure that you've got allow Power BI vis visualization embedding switch to yes, which we have in this environment. So if you haven't got that switched on, you're not going to be able to do it. So that's the very first step. Now is that for one user or one does it for the entire system? That's for the entire system. Right. Okay, so let's just head back to dashboards. Okay, so now that we've switched on that setting I can go to new here and you'll see now I've got this option to add a Power BI dashboard. So if we click on that it's then going to connect to my Power BI account and it's going to give me the option here okay which dashboard do I actually want to pull through. Of course we're okay. logged in already to 365 yeah. therefore it's got that so connection. Automatically knows where to go and look for the data. Uh, so I'm going to say I'm going to pull through the uh, Sales Analytics and save. A bit too quickly there. And you'll see straight away it's created the dashboard. And you can see here this is the exact same Sales Analytics dashboard that we saw earlier when we imported the content pack into Power BI itself. And is that fully functional? So if I click, will I then go through to the report? It is. So if we look at the one revenue. Report. So if we just click on that, you'll see that it's recognised as a Power BI report. And if we get a bit of a minute, you'll see we go straight through to what is in effect Power BI. Yeah, I can interact with each of those pages yeah. in that report. Exactly as you would in Power BI. Just move through and you can interact with the data. That that connection's really cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I, like I got quite excited when it was tied working. <laughs> Um, so the other thing you can do as well is you can choose to open that dashboard straight in Power BI um, as well if you want to. So you've got the options there as to how you want to go through and, and look at this data in more detail. Um, if I wanted to add in my other dashboard as well, I can just go another Power BI dashboard. And this time we'll go for the customer service one. And again, all I've got to do is press save. And it's then going to go and pull in that dashboard from Power BI. And this wouldn't just have to be your CRM dashboard, it could be any Power BI dashboard. Yes, yeah, so because we've only downloaded the two content packs in my um, demo version, then they're the only two available. But yes, if you had more, you'd just be able to select right. from that drop down and choose what you import. So it could be uh, the Google Analytics, you might have a Google Analytics dashboard, you might want to present that to users in CRM, particularly the marketing team maybe, mm -hmm. um, and then they can start interacting with that information directly from within CRM. I see. And am I fixed to just using those dashboards as they stand? No, there is another lovely little option um, where you can actually, if you only want to present certain information from Power BI um, to users, then what you can do is you can create your own brand new dashboards and choose which information you want to bring in as well. So what we could do is create a hybrid between the sales and the customer service um, dashboard. So if you want to do that, then this time all you're going to do is go to new and you click on your Dynamics 365 dashboard. This is going to bring up the standard dashboard editor. So we'll say, I'll pick the two, two column regular one. Okay. So if we call this the sales and service dashboard. And we'll just save that for a minute. Okay, so you'll see here, I've got the option to add in a Power BI tile to the dashboard. So again, similar 
premise here is that it will ask me which particular dashboard I want to look at. So if we leave it as customer service, and we'll have a look here, and we'll say, we'll look at maybe the active activities. And I'll say OK. So that's going to pop that tile on there for me. And if I just run through, um, we'll do customer service again, and we'll do maybe the top owners by active case. And pop that one in there. And then let's say, OK, I look after sales and service. So there's also a few things that I want to bring through from a sales point of view. So then I can just switch to my sales dashboard. And um, we'll look at ooh, what we have top open opportunities this quarter. Say so, okay, and I've got a nice little list view there. And then we'll just go for one more from the sales. Come on. I'll do sales pipeline as well. It's always a nice one to have. Okay. So what I've effectively done there is taken the elements from the customer service and the sales dashboards or reporting packs in Power BI um, and created a hybrid dashboard. So, all I so I can, they can mix across all my dashboards yeah. from Power BI and create a complete hybrid? Yeah, of the information that Excellent. is specifically relevant to me. So if I just save that and we'll close. And you'll see down here, I've got this sales and service. So if I just click on that. Okay, so then you'll see, we selected the sales and service dashboard we've built and you can see here, that's my hybrid. So we can create a hybrid switch between those two. Could I then share that with other people? So I, I design a dashboard for a particular team or team member? Yeah, so up here you've got this option to share dashboard. So I can click on share, I can then choose who I want to add, go through the list of people that I want to add. So let's say I want to share it with my colleague Jeeves. And then you can go through and dictate what kind of permissions they've got. So if you just want read only, it's fine. But if they can edit, if they can assign it to others or share it with others, um, then they can do so there. So if I just share that. What that means is that when Jeeves logs in and he goes to my dashboards, he'll see that sales and service dashboard is now available to him as well. That's really powerful. Yep. So we've got the free content packs from Microsoft in Power BI as our starting point. Yep. That are one click installs that give us the report and dashboard out of the box. We've then got the ability to have those as a standard dashboard in CRM. Yes. Or Dynamics 365 for us to view. We can pick and choose elements of those two on a hybrid dashboard and we could also create a dashboard that's got CRM elements and those tiles from Power BI. Yes, so if we look at, for example, uh, so I've got a dashboard here that's about the sales performance and what I've got here is some traditional CRM based charts, but actually let's say I want to bring some of that Power BI information in. So a good example here is we've got some nice analysis on the leads, whether they've been qualified or disqualified, but that's not giving me what a conversion rate is, for example. So I might want to tag on, because Power BI does that very nicely, what's the conversion rate? Okay. Um, the other thing I might want to do here, so I've got again, these are the opportunities we're winning and the revenue we're winning, but how long is it taking us to win that revenue? What is the kind of average sales cycle time? Um, and again, Power BI's got that straight out of the box. So I've got the option now, um, if I want to, to be able to go and edit this dashboard, which we'll do. So we're adding information now that's not available. Well, it's, a, it's in CRM, but it's not calculated for The traditional, for us. yeah, kind right. of reporting functionality in CRM. So if I just click on the Power BI tile, and we'll go to the sales analytics. And let's say I want to look at lead conversion rate. So I can then pop that in, and on this one we will do okay. we'll do the average day and age. Okay. 
So there I've gone, taken the two bits of information that Power BI are presenting me with directly out of the box, which means I haven't got to do any heavy customization in CRM or sit scratching my head as to how I'm going to get this data. Yeah. Um, so again, if I just save that. And I'll close. Okay. So for your non-data specialist, this is perfect. Especially for something like my sales team, because essentially, you know, people are time poor these days. They want the easy access to the information that they need to see. They don't want to have to go in multiple different areas of a system or log into lots of different systems to get that information. They just want one place that they can go to that's going to tell them what they need to know. So this is kind of perfect to be able to build these hybrid dashboards, as I'm calling them, um, for some teams like your sales teams who spend most of their time probably in CRM rather than in Power BI, but I can present them with this really, really useful information um, from Power BI directly in kind of the application that they're used to and working in on a day-to-day -day basis. That's really powerful. Thank you. No problem.